What's up everybody? It's from Teresa. I know I haven't posted a video in a while, but things have been really crazy on my end. I knew I think y'all know about my dad being sick and stuff and it just got really, really stressful the last month or so. Um, and my free time just wasn't as available as I, you know, would have liked it have been to have been. And when I did have free time I tried to get out of the house, you know, go to the gym or hang out at a friend's house just to get out of the environment because I was here all the time. So, um, there have been updates since, um, since then, last time I posted. Um, so, I got really stressed out, you know, having to take care of my dad, and, and I, I found a few websites online where other um, caregivers were, you know, sharing their stories and can find out information about Medicaid and Medicare and hospice and, and um, residential facilities for elders and stuff like that, assisted living facilities. And... Um, we wanted the the final option, you know, my brother, my oldest, my second oldest brother and I, sorry, I'm trying to talk fast so I can get under the 10 minute limit for YouTube. Um, my second oldest brother and I decided that, you know, final last resort was to put dad in a nursing home. We really didn't want to do that because I know about, you know, neglect and abuse and all that stuff. And yeah, me and my dad have our issues, but, you know, I'll be damned if somebody is going to disrespect my dad and treat him, you know, less than he needs to be treated, you know, as a human being. So um, I'm definitely keeping eyes on, on people, you know, that are taking care of him. But um, I've been his caregiver pretty much, you know, all the time at the house. And it really took a lot out of me. I only did it for three months. And my heart goes out to those caregivers that do it for, for longer, like two years, three years, four years. And, and it, it's, it gets so bad, I've heard that people need counseling. And I can understand that because if I kept going on the path that I was going, I mean, yeah, like some things were pretty sturdy in my life and everything, but as far as my, I was becoming a very bitter person, you know, and um, it's, it was more than one person could handle, especially someone like me who's not a medical professional, and I know they have, you know, specific ways they speak to patients that help them to, you know, correct, coerce the patient, patient to, you know, do as um, they're directed to help out or whatever. And my dad just wouldn't listen to me all the time, you know. He would, he he's nor, he's naturally stubborn, and then when he's had some pain medicine or something, or he's more confused, he gets even more stubborn. And then he doesn't always respond to me. It was just an ongoing battle for three months, so it took a lot out of me. And um, I'm glad that I made it through. Thank the Lord, because I did pray a lot every single day. Um, so, but my brother and I did put my dad in a nursing home last. Tuesday actually he no last Wednesday um, he was admitted to the, the hospital under respite care Tuesday um, and that's pretty much uh, where they're doing the same thing they were doing at here at the house except at the hospital and that was to hold him until he um, was able to get into a nursing home and we thought you know it would take a minimum of three to four days you know, or it could take up to a few weeks, but we were really surprised when we got a call the next day from his head nurse at the hospice letting us know that they did have, have a bed available for him at the nursing home that we were looking at, so that was a blessing, but the the day he went to the hospital was the, the first day that I felt since I don't even know when that I had no worries. Like, yeah, I was a little worried about, you know, the bills coming up, and now that it's just me here at the house by myself, you know, I it's my responsibility to take care of you know the bills and dad and I were splitting the house bills like the water gas and light the cable the internet the phone we were going half and half on that and um you know now all that's going to fall on me as well as the homeowner's insurance every month and the car insurance for my car and um the house tax the house itself is paid for there's no mortgage thank the lord thank the lord um but we have house taxes that are due every December so I'm going to have to save you know for the rest of the year for that so it's a lot, um, but also more good news. I got a job. I think I, I posted a little bit about that. I think I just posted like a, I don't know what I posted. I just remember I, I think it was written on a video or something, but I start, um, the training class starts July 13th, and I'll be working full-time um, as a work-at-home customer service representative and uh, with this company called New NEW. And I'm really excited about it. I'll be making nine fifty an hour, and uh, there are benefits. And the great thing about it is, you know, I want to get back into school um, and finish my last thirty something credits uh, to get my degree in college. <clears throat> and um, you could, I could take the job with me when I plan on to move back to 
to go to school. So that's great. Anywhere there's internet and, you know, telephone service, I can take the job with me. So I'm going to have to invest in a laptop eventually because I can't be lugging my big ass, you know, desktop around. I did get a flat screen monitor, which I'll show y'all at a later date. But anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, someone requested that I uh, record a video outside with good lighting to show the quality of uh, how the Viewscape digital camcorder does outside. So um, I haven't forgotten about you. I, um, I just have been kind of busy the past couple of days uh, with running around and getting errands taken care of and stuff. But um, plus I need to make sure it's a day where it's sunny because it's been like chances of rain every day. But anyway, tomorrow I believe it should be sunny. So I'll try to get, you know, like a short video. Probably not in my yard because my yard looks like a hot mess. And it's going to be a while before it can be clean because it's a lot. So I'll probably just um, maybe go to the park or something and I'll uh, just record, you know, something. I'll find something. Anyway, um, y'all stay cool. Temperatures here have gotten up to 102 so far. And I think that was even before it was officially summer. I think summer started this past Sunday on Father's Day. And I think it was 102 that Saturday or Friday. I can't remember, but it was before it was officially summer, which is just crazy. So stay cool. Um, don't beat up nobody. Um, don't beat up nobody. It sounds really random, but I mean, there's just been a lot of violence and stuff, you know, going on with the recession. And I'm sure it's going to get worse before it gets better. But y'all just hang in there. Use the brain that God gave you. And don't lose faith. Things will get better. Promise. I'm living proof of that. All right, y'all. I'm going to go to bed. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm going to try to upload this first if it doesn't take too long, so we'll see. All right, y'all.